2023 Michigan Cane Quest. Discover the orientation and mobility skills demonstrated at the 2023 Michigan Cane Quest. On screen, a smiling woman walks down a sidewalk with a girl who is using a white cane on a sunny day. At the Michigan Cane Quest competition, students complete challenges related to navigating their environment, like these students who are walking upstairs in a stairwell while Cane Quest volunteers observe. One student successfully navigates a turn and makes his way up to the next floor. Another volunteer drops an item for a student to find on the floor. With a hand in front of his face, the student crouches down and sweeps his hands across the floor in a wiping motion until he finds the object. He picks it up and examines it, turning it over in his hands. A volunteer laughs while talking to students. Another volunteer talks to a girl who is holding a white cane and is standing at the foot of a flight of stairs. She nods and starts making her way up the stairs, placing the cane in front of her to help orient herself until she reaches a landing. She continues walking up to the next flight. At the start of the day, volunteers and competitors greet each other in a large room at Leader Dogs for the Blind in Rochester, Michigan. A student holds a volunteer's elbow while walking down a hallway using a white cane. The volunteer walks slightly ahead of the student. Another volunteer observes. MDE LIO director Roxanne Balfour smiles while talking to the group in a large room. A volunteer stands a few steps below a girl who is preparing to walk down the stairs with a white cane. The volunteer backs up as the student walks down the stairs to the landing. While two volunteers observe, the student walks down a hallway with a white cane and navigates a corner. A boy turns a corner in a stairwell and starts walking down the next flight of stairs with a white cane while a volunteer walks down the stairs backward as he walks down. A girl holding a white cane opens the passenger door of a white minivan with leader dog decals while a volunteer observes. The girl gets into the van. A volunteer walks with a girl using a white cane through a parking garage, passing other volunteers and students along the way. The girl sweeps her white cane in front of her while navigating a hallway. She touches the wall while making her way down the hallway and turns the corner. Another challenge at Cane Quest involves navigating a room full of exercise equipment. A girl uses her white cane to walk down the aisle between equipment while volunteers watch. She stops and talks to a volunteer. In the parking garage, a boy uses his white cane to start walking along a wall. He comes to the leader dog van, pauses, and turns to walk around it using his cane. He makes his way around the van and back to the wall, a volunteer following behind. Back in the exercise room, a volunteer gives directions to a young girl who is holding a white cane. Using her cane, the girl walks between the pieces of equipment before stopping at a PVC pipe obstacle that is sticking out at shoulder level. She stops to talk to a volunteer. In the parking garage, a boy walks between a parked van and the wall. He walks around the front of the van toward the back, sweeping his cane until he finds the driver door handle. He reaches over to slide the back passenger door open, climbs into the van, and sits in a seat. Several students gather in a large room, sitting cross-legged on the floor. They stand up as volunteers walk over to greet them. Although it was rainy, the competition included outdoor challenges in downtown Rochester. Cars pass by in the rain as students and volunteers holding umbrellas wait to cross a crosswalk. A student holding a white cane waits until the cars have cleared and starts walking across the street using his cane. Two volunteers follow and observe as he safely reaches the other side. Another student waits for cars to clear before walking across the street using her white cane and holding an umbrella. Volunteers follow behind her with umbrellas of their own. The student makes it safely to the other side. In another area, a girl waits for a car to stop before walking across the street with her cane, a volunteer walking behind her. She reaches the other side in front of a restaurant and continues on, the volunteer walking backward in front of her. A 
student starts walking quickly across a brick crosswalk with a white cane and umbrella, three volunteers walking behind her. Another student smiles while navigating a city sidewalk. A smiling volunteer walks next to her. A volunteer and student navigate a sidewalk next to a clothing shop in Rochester. A teen girl stops to talk to a volunteer before continuing to walk down the sidewalk with her cane and an umbrella. Her cane touches a parking meter and she navigates around it. She comes to another volunteer and stops to talk. The girl crosses the street quickly with a volunteer. She pauses midway across and carefully makes her way to the other side as a truck approaches. A van passes by as the student and volunteer get to the other side of the street. Another student crosses a crosswalk in a busy downtown area with a white cane while three volunteers observe. The student reaches the curb, steps up, and continues on. A teen girl waits before starting to cross the street with her white cane as two volunteers follow and a truck approaches. They meet another volunteer on the other side of the crosswalk. A student and volunteer, both using white canes, navigate a crosswalk together as cars drive by. Another student waits for traffic to clear before crossing at the crosswalk while a volunteer serves as her sighted guide. They reach the other side in front of a gray building with life-size skeletons out front and make their way to the next crosswalk before stopping. They wait there for a few moments. As the day wraps up, students and volunteers make their way to the Leader Dogs for the Blind building in Rochester, a single-story building with a gold lion statue out front. They close their umbrellas as they make their way to the door. One student makes her way past the lion to the door using her white cane. A volunteer follows with his own white cane, and another student and several volunteers walk in behind them, smiling and talking. What would you tell someone who's never done cane quest before? No, do, do not worry, it's not scary, just try your best. Well, but this is an interesting place, come and join this because it's pretty cool. You get to learn new things, make friends and everything. Also get to learn how to use dogs and stuff. I would tell them to have fun and don't worry about the scores, that it's just a number and that, that having fun is basically the best thing that you can, you can, have, you can get from this whole experience. I had so much fun. I met so many just new people, learned so many new skills, just had an all-around great time. Learn more at mbelio.org. Find more videos, get resources, and learn how MDE LIO can support you.